everybody, it's Miss Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to access and use our brand new graphic novel database called Comics Plus. It is 100% absolutely free, and one of the really great things is that it just focuses on graphic novels. So if you love comic books, you love graphic novels, and this is definitely the database that you guys want to check out. Um, and the other really cool thing is that many of you guys, more than one of you, can check out the book at the same time. So there is no need to wait for a book. As soon as you see it, you can click on it and you can go ahead and start reading. Oh, how much you all love, 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 love graphic novels. So here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is log into your portal. Once you are in your portal, you're gonna come all the way down here. You're gonna look for the NISD Library Services button, which is the one with the book that looks kind of like it's being um, developed by technology. And it says NISD Library Services. So you'll click on that. Then we'll come over here to the very first button that says Elementary Digital Resources this one right here, just like we have before when we're going through and getting to Destiny. Come right down here, go to Destiny. So nothing different has changed so far. It is all the same. We're gonna click on Destiny. And once we click on Destiny, the next thing we need to do is we need to find the school. Now this is super, super important because not every school has purchased this database. And luckily, we have. So we're going to make sure we're clicking on the Boone one. Then we can come to this very last little button right here that says Comics Plus. This is what we're going to use to access this brand new database. So we're going to click Comics Plus. Long, and we're going to come right here to this Open Now. And what you're going to see is the actual database itself will start to open. Now, there is a whole lot going on here. So let's take just a smidgen of a second to go through and look at everything there is. Um, and I will say it is extremely important for you guys to remember, not every book is for every reader. Now, you're going to have books in this database that are meant for pre-K and kinder kiddos, like this Toy Story one. And you're also going to have some that are meant for some of our big fifth grade kiddos that are getting ready to go into middle school and are ready for some of the more mature stuff. So just keep that in mind. Remember, if it is not something that is for you, that's okay. Put it back, return it. There is definitely somebody out there that can benefit from that book. Um, so we're gonna take a look at some of the things that we've got. Down here are some of their more popular things. Um, and in this part, you're going to have a little feed, just like you would on any other computer, where it highlights some of the things that are important, some of the ones that are current um, and go with current events, things that are going on in society and in culture right now, and some that are just super popular. But you can also come down here and there's an entire section on historical fiction. So this ribbon is just on historical fiction, okay? Um, there is an entire ribbon that is going to be seasonal. So for right now, we are in October while I'm filming this. So everybody's getting ready for Halloween and they want scary things. So they're going to put some of those down here. Come a little bit more. We just had the death of the Supreme Court Justice, the Honorable Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And so because of that, they have kind of honored her and tried to honor some of the other important women that we have in society and in our government. Um, and so we have another ribbon about them. And it's not comprehensive, but it's just some of the more important ones, some that they feel students might want to read about. Down here, with all of the things that are going on with COVID right now, you may kind of be feeling alone. You may be feeling a little um, not your best. And that's okay. We have some graphic novels here for you guys. So feel free to check those out as well. If you like Avatar then there's another entire ribbon devoted just to them. If you're someone who prefers to read nonfiction, there's an entire ribbon on nonfiction. Again, like I said, be very careful. Some of these are meant for more of our kiddos that are in fifth grade, getting ready to go on to middle school and are a little bit more mature. And then we have stuff written um, about different topics, different authors. If you are someone who likes Disney, which I know many of you are, we've got a whole ribbon on that. Um, 
Disney princesses. Now these Disney princesses are a little bit different. One of the things with graphic novels that it's important for everybody to know is that some, not all, but some of these graphic novels do originate from places like Tokyo and other Asian lands. And so because of that, you're going to see a lot of manga. And manga is just a style of drawing and writing, and it's a style of books. So we're going to open one of those up in a little bit because you kind of got to read them a little bit differently. And I want to show you that. Um, but for those of you who are in kinder, of first grade or really just want to see more of the pictures as opposed to the, the word part, there's a whole section on my first graphic novels. And then more science stuff, uh, history, things that you want to learn. There's all kinds of really, really great stuff in here. Okay. Another thing that you can do to find it is you can search. You can always just type in. So let's say that I want to look for something Disney related. I would type in Disney hit the little magnifying glass and it's going to load and it's going to pull up every story, every graphic novel that we have here um, in this database that is a Disney one. So the featured one will take you to the ribbons, which is the stuff that I showed you at the beginning. Okay. The popular one, these are the most popular ones that have been used in uh, within this database and not just here at Boone, but all over the United States. And so what you do when you click on that is it will give you a picture of the graphic novel, give you a little summary of it. Um, I'm going to come back down. So there are some more that are super popular. You can go down here and click the arrow. You can click all and it will pull up all of the popular ones so that you have, if you're like me, you have them all right there visually for you to see what the most popular stuff is. Okay. Let's say that you want to uh, look and see what they just added. Let's click on the just added section up top here. And you're going to get all of the latest, all of the brand new books, graphic novels that they have added. They have some really interesting things in here for you guys to look at. Um, some stuff that I know a lot of you guys ask me about and are constantly asking me for books on. So take a look. We can come to browse and there are some categories that you can pick some publishers. If you know your favorite publishers, um, again, it'll give you the favorite topics and titles. So let's say that I want to take a look at anthropomorphics, do with animals and things like that. Um, so you might find your angry birds there and animal jam. There's tons and tons and tons of stuff for you guys to look at. Let's say, for example, that I want to open up, um, let's do, we'll do this one just so that it's appropriate for everybody. Okay. Um, you have two options, view and read now. I'm going to click on view and this will happen when you hover above any of the book titles, book covers, you hit view. And what's going to happen is it'll give you all of the book information. And then it'll give you a little summary. If you hit more, you get a little more information. Let's pretend that you really want this book. You're like, yes, I want to read it. Let's do it. You'll notice that it does not say hold or out or anything like that. Because again, one of the great things about this database is all of the books are available all of the time. And if you and your friend want to read the exact same graphic novel, guess what? You absolutely can. So to read it, you'll click read now and it's going to take a little bit. You're going to have it load. Okay. And what that's doing is it's pulling up the entire graphic novel for you to read. And so you can kind of see it loading down here on the bottom. All right. So we know it's loaded because we see the cover of the book right here. Um, and so I'm going to show you a couple of things. The way that we get this ribbon. This ribbon is how we navigate from page to page uh, when we want to come back to it or if we want to magnify something to make it look bigger. Uh, you're just going to click on the middle. That's all I did. So to get it, you click on the middle. To get rid of it, you click it back. Okay. So in a typical normal, what we, you and I are used to, graphic novel, you're going to come to the right hand side and click. Okay. Or you can use the little arrow keys on your uh, keypad and you can do that. This is what it looks like at the very beginning of your book. 
Now, this book, I can pretty much see the words fairly well, but let's say that um, I want it to be bigger. Maybe I have dyslexia. Maybe I'm just having a tough time reading. I forgot my glasses, whatever the case may be. You can make it bigger. So I'm going to click in the middle. I'm going to come up here to this little magnifying glass, click it one time, and it gets bigger. Every time you click it, the words get easier to see. Now, what you can do is if you click in the middle, it gets rid of the top and the bottom so you can see more of the page. And so that's how you can see uh, the more detailed stuff. Just zoom in, zoom out, no big deal. Um, and what this is going to do down here, this is all of the pages. So the thing that I don't like about this, um, so this is one of the cons, is if you magnify it once on one page, when you turn to the next page, it won't be magnified. And so you'll have to come back in for every page that you want and magnify it some, okay? Um, so that's one con to this. I know that I talked to the vendor and they're gonna try to work on that because it's something that they've heard from several people. The other thing that is a con to this is that it will not bookmark your place. If we get an ebook on Sora or an audiobook, there's that little ribbon in the top part right here uh, that you can click on. And then when you exit the book and you come back, it will automatically save your place. That won't happen with this. You don't have that option. So what you would have to do, what I have been doing is I click on the middle. Let's say I'm done here. It tells me right here. I'm on page nine of 156 pages, okay? So when I exit out of it, like for whatever reason, and I wanna come back to it, let me show you how I would come back to it. Uh, right here, you'll click on my shelf and it'll open the page just like this. So these are all of the books that you have out right now. So I'm gonna to click to open it again. I'm gonna click read now. And let it load. And like I said, it takes you right back to the very beginning. But if you remember, I was on page nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the middle, come to this one, just some random one on the bottom. And this is page 10. Whoops, I was one off. So we'll come back. Page nine. That's where I left off. Okay. So this is how you have to navigate this bottom ribbon down here um, and find what page you're on. The other thing that I want to show you with this is just like in Sora, if you are someone who thinks this is a good amount of paper, that's fine. But if you're someone who wants to see both pages at once, you can click on that. And now I have the two pages. So it's like if I was opening the book up in the middle, you would have those two pages. Okay. And so all I did is I clicked in the middle of the page, came up to the top left, and here's where you have your options. Now I'm going to exit out of this. I'm gonna click my little X and I come right back. But after X number of days, they will automatically be returned for you, okay? Um, I wanna say it's about a three week window that you have to read the book. So I'm gonna come right back home to Featured because remember Featured is the one that brings up all of those different kinds of ribbons at the very beginning that we see. I um, mean like this is a ribbon, this is a ribbon, okay? Let's say though, that I happen to get one of these manga ones. Um, now manga is not going to open exactly the right way that what you're used to. Uh, if you've ever checked out one of our black and white Pokemon books here at the library, that's kind of uh, like a manga as well. That's written in this format. So I'm just gonna open this book right here and I'm gonna come in, if I try to click on the right side, nothing's gonna happen. Because with manga books, you have to kind of read them backwards. It's, um, and that's just because of the language that they're originally written in, they do it backwards, okay? So we're gonna come over here to the left side. So with manga, see how it says manga right here, um, and it says Tokyo Pop. This is another thing that you're gonna to use to help you identify whether or not it is needs to be open on the left side or the right side. So because it says the Tokyo Pop, we're gonna click on the left side and now you're gonna open your book, okay? And so it'll be the exact same thing as a regular book, just you're clicking on this left-hand side here, okay? No big deal, nothing completely different. Same thing if you click in the middle or the bottom, 
You'll have your um, minimize and your zoom in. You'll have what page it is, one, one or two pages. And then along the ribbon down here, you'll find what page you're on. Well, that's a really quick tutorial on how to find, how to log in, and how to use our brand new database called Comics Plus. Now remember, it is just for graphic novels. In order for you to get your regular ebooks and audiobooks, you still have to use Sora, um, and you can always access the San Antonio Public Library's collection through Sora, just like you can the Northside one. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope that was really helpful. Um, I'm trying really hard to get you all these great resources since we are doing a lot of virtual stuff that you can access on the computer and tablets. It should work on any device. So if you have any issues, you have any problems, please let me know and I will try to find a solution for you. I hope it helps. Bye everybody.